it's a team effort. We work with excellent teaching assistants. Without the teaching assistants, you could not deliver this kind of curriculum at all. So what is it that the Erdington Hall support staff are doing to support young children's literacy that is so valuable? In this program, you'll see staff making observations for assessment and giving English as an additional language and special needs support. They'll also be seen putting play-based learning into practice, leading group work, and in partnership with teachers, working with the whole class. All of this demands a strong commitment to children in their care. For teaching assistants to um, provide quality opportunities, communication, language and literacy opportunities within their year, early years, I think they need to be in on the ground, as it were. They need to be part of the planning um, and an active part of the planning. Um, so that the data Learning plans, curriculum documents, assessment data, all are discussed at Erdington Hall's foundation stage planning meeting. So how does this translate into everyday practice for teaching assistants? We're very, very pleased, Lynn, with the language for communication and thinking, and, but you know we've worked well, really hard yes. on that. Well, that's been a real Being aware of the purpose behind planned activities is crucial. With all the planning and everything and all the activities that we've been doing, I think that's really helped a lot, even say with the outside yeah. activities mm, and that because yes. then all the speaking and listening that we do out there as well, because it's not just playing. So I do give a bit of support during the planning. I try and get involved as much as I can. I mean, a lot of it, it, it is hard for me because that is new for me. Um, so I try and... Um, understand as much as I can um, but I, I do have a little bit of input there they'll ask me questions how do you think this will work if we did that and you know I'll just give them my opinion and how I feel about it I've been working here for nearly two years now There's that treasure. I've got three children I've got two boys and a girl uh, and they've all been to this school Not obviously literacy, but Stephanie seizes the opportunity to develop listening and questioning, in line with the foundation stage team plans. We all work as a team and that is emphasised as well, because if we didn't work as a team, we wouldn't be so successful in helping the children. They all see us as teachers. Um, that has been emphasised um, to them that anyone who comes in whether it's just helping for a little while, they are a teacher, and for the children to respect them in that role. And how many legs does it need? Four. Four legs. I decided I'd look into doing my teaching assistant qualification. I was doing my early years, level two, so I've just finished that, and I'm going on to my level three. Stephanie's training is not unusual. It's informed how she works with the children on this recent trip to the zoo. They can go up to the log and rub against it. OK, to get rid of the itch. Yeah, because they haven't, they haven't got long arms like us. Long arms and long legs. With all the teaching assistant courses and the early years, um, it is practical as well as written. So there's a lot of coursework, lots of homework but you do have to spend time in placement, so it did help me being here. He was going outside down. Yeah. He's probably just had his lunch as well, just like we've had our lunches. Observing individual children is a key part of assessing their literacy at foundation stage. Stephanie has followed class teacher Angela's lead and is now able to contribute to the assessment process. Ch, can you find an object with ch? See if she gets it right, can she? I watch the children, observe the children, how they react. A lot of the time it's how they can um, bring it across um, with using their language, because a lot of the time their language is limited. Pointing those you shall. Just talk to this child. Let's have a go, see if he's right. Ch. When I make an assessment on, say, like the post-it notes, we put it up on the board and it's got all the areas of the, the six areas of the learning for the foundation stage. Angela and Kate um, look at them 
um, and obviously refer them to the areas of the learning and that and how the children are getting on. And the plank with you. You get to have fun. Uh, you play with the kids. They've all got their little personalities. Next year, Angela and I have already spoken about, and we want to run it past um, the team, is that we just focus on the actual sounds and names rather than... The Using a play-based, less teacher-directed approach to literacy yeah. is paying dividends at Erdington Hall, but it's demanding of all of the staff. Absolutely fantastic, that is. We're trying to collect some money. We've been so working we've together for days. about five, six years now. We've just got on really well. Um, Lynn will treat me as an equal and she will let me do the things that she um, does. Well done, Mari, you found the letter. Look, she's found the card and she's found the letter and she's put... Irene's up to speed on phonics as well as breakfast cereals. There's some letters that I've learned through Jolly Phonics and the object is for a child to find the letter and tell me uh, uh, which letter it is. They do all the actions as well, as well as eat the cornflakes. They enjoy going outside to play. I think they probably speak to each other more outside. Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch... The breadth of follow-up would be impractical without support from Irene. Today, she's sequencing the story to release Lynn for a focused speaking and listening activity. What does the clown man do to the open? Open the door! Open the door! And who jumps out? And Madden to Brad. Make him jump. What's happening there, Rosie? The medic popped out! Popped out of where? Popped out of the oven! Popped out of the oven. What was the next picture then? So what have we got to find then? The fox. The fox. Have you found the fox? What did the fox say to him, Terry? Jump on my back. Jump on my back. Then it's back into the classroom for the inevitable baking. Wow. So how do you teach about letters and words so reception children understand they make meaning? Working with this group, T.A. Joyce Thompson, finds having a purpose for writing is a good way to begin. Where do you think best your hippos could go? Where do you think they could place? Yeah, where do you think you could put them? Stand up and have a look. Where would you like to put them? You think on there? Start putting your hippos and your trees on there then, and then when you finish, you can put your label there. And think of the space you could use for the elephant house. The group I was working with today was free choice. I find, personally, that boys choose, decide to choose the role player. We usually end up with more boys than we do girls. Well done. What's happened to his coat? It's white and black. I'm the lion. I'm the lion. Support staff provide a range of important um, opportunities. Um, they can translate for parents, they can communicate odd things with parents that perhaps you can't quite get the nuances of, they can support children with their own language within the classroom. Nagina Mirza has a particular motivation for being a TA. Her parents enrolled her at Erdington when they moved to the area. When I was a child, obviously, the only access they had through school communication was through me, what I could tell them, what I understood through school, and I could report back to home. But my dad's English is OK, and he could come in and speak to my teachers. But on parents' evenings and things, if my mum came, she wouldn't understand anything. She'd just come and look at the work and come home, and that would be it. When I was younger and I came to this school, it was very different, predominantly white children, which is very different to nowadays. It's um, very multicultural. I do help her parents' evenings as well. I go around to all the different teachers if they need any support. If the parents don't understand, they can come and ask. The children that I work with now, the children that come with no English, I can see where they need support and how to um, how important their home language is and to be supported in the school environment. Can you turn to the person next to you and think about an information sentence? Off you go. Oh, 
Bekasi, Berasi. Nagina's skills aren't confined to EAL learners. So I know it's yours. We take the ideas from the, the learning from the children, talking about um, phonics and letter sounds, emergent writing. Can you describe him to me? Was he big? Was he little? The monkey was, was, he? He was big and he was black. You could write that. But he looked a bit scary. He looked a bit scary? OK. And How many hands did they have? Arms. Two. 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 On the trip, obviously, it was a learning experience. I mean, fun at the same time trying to see the signs and looking at the writing. And I had to use a lot of bilingual skills with the group I had. Supportive adults like Nagina can prompt talk and show how children's contributions are valued. I like the giraffe. You like the giraffe? You like the gorilla? What did you like, Monica? The gorilla. You like the cat? I like the giraffe. You like the giraffe? Why did you like the giraffe? Because they're very big. Come here. What do you want to tell me? You haven't been over there? How do you know we haven't been there? Flamingos. Flamingos? Can you read that? You're a superstar. Flamingos! Flamingos! It's with me. It's with I love it. I love coming to school and, and I think it does come across the whole that we, you know, we come into school, work hard and enjoy what we do. There's a TA and a teacher in each of the classes and there is also additional support there for children with statements of special needs. Uh, what we also have in addition to that is parents who are studying for MVQs and they often they come in and do their voluntary placements with us. I help in the nursery with parents and children who are not speak English and I had the parents translate them. The cat said <coughs> I have a degree in psychology and it's helped me a lot when I work in nursery with children. Where my line stops, you have to carry on, OK? When I was in Albania, I worked as a teacher for primary schools. My aim is that I, I always wanted to work with children. You can draw lines, Lina. Start the line when you just... Sometimes I do reading and uh, circle time, outside play, creative play, whatever the teacher plans. It's good experience picking up the good things from everybody. I think um, there is often a wide range of expertise out there within the community. People that actually want to come into schools and support within early years. I don't think it's easy to manage a wide range of people coming in, but it's a skill that really ought to be learnt because that wide range of expertise can be brought into your early years setting and hugely enrich what's available. <laughs>